This past weekend, while working at the Arai display at a consumer show, I was approached by a gentleman who identified himself as a sportsman road racer. He informed me that the Arai Arc 7 series helmet that he owned had become quite noisy and had an excessive amount of movement at speed. After measuring his head at 56 centimeters and determining that he would be correctly fitted in a size small, we discovered that he owned an extra large. He'd been racing for the past four seasons in an Arai helmet that was four full sizes and two shell sizes too big for his measured size. While he owned the world's best helmet, should he have crashed, its ability to protect him would have been substantially compromised because it was far too large for him. The issue of correct measured fit and the procedures which need to be used to achieve that fit are why we're here today. Arai believes it is unlikely a helmet can be fit properly over a phone line or on a computer screen. It is a hands-on, eye-to-eye, face-to-face process that is best handled by retailers experienced in the fitting of helmets. We believe in an approach that will bring consumers to you, the dealer, for the correct fit of this critical piece of his equipment, which is why it is so incredibly important that you embrace the reality of proper fit and the tools required to give your customer that added value. The feedback we are getting from helmet buyers would suggest that many are not being fitted correctly. Indeed, worse than that is that perhaps 90% of them are buying helmets at least one size too big. Perhaps as many as one in every 10 consumers who come to our display at retail motorcycle consumer shows are wearing a helmet two full sizes too big. This is a serious issue because a loose-fitting helmet cannot do its job correctly. A helmet must be firmly fitted in order to be as quiet as possible and best manage the energy of a motorcycle accident impact. In choosing a helmet, currently it would appear there is simply too much guesswork in establishing a customer's head size. After all the years and many thousands of heads I have fitted for Arai helmets, I can guess with a great degree of accuracy the size and shape of any given head. But with all this experience, you would never find me in any professional situation where I am dealing with Arai helmets where I do not carry my personal measuring device with me. This tool is essential to the process. These measuring devices which I carry are obtainable in any fabric store. They measure in both American and metric measurement. They are made in Germany and they are very precise in their calibration. Utilizing a tool like this within your store to establish the circumference of your customer's head is the first step in helping the consumer achieve a proper fit. If you do not base the beginning of the fitting process on a measured size, we are truly shooting in the dark as it relates to trying to come up with a proper fit. Where you want to begin is by measuring the consumer's head, and very simply stated, we're trying to find the longest distance around the consumer's head, eyebrow level, above the ears. It may require several different attempts to establish the longest possible measurement around the consumer's head, but it is absolutely essential that we establish this parameter as it will give us the actual size for a correct fit. There is no room for guesswork here. If you were to walk into a shoe store to buy a fine pair of shoes, would you expect the salesperson to look at your feet and suggest to you that you look like you were about a medium? No. The assistant would sit you down and remove one of your shoes and measure your feet with a Brannock device for both length and width so they would have an accurate measurement to choose correctly the size shoe you need. The same thing should be true when choosing a helmet. We need to establish the measured size of the circumference around the top of the head. Next, we need to visualize the shape of the head. At Arai, we have recognized that the circumference of a head is only the starting point for a comfortable and correct fit. The shape of the head as it relates to the length and width are equally as important. There are three basic head shapes that we recognize in considering a full face helmet fit. A, the traditional Arai fit, or what we refer to as the long oval, where the head length is measurably longer than the width. B, the transitional fit, where the head is distinctly round oval. Its width and length is quite similar, again, something that is very easy to visualize when you have the opportunity to look at the consumer face to face, from eye to eye, as well as from the profile. And C, the third fit, is what we refer to as intermediate oval. It is a round shape, but it has considerably more forehead length in it. It bridges the gap between the two previous shapes. The relationship of the width of the head combined with its length is what will establish its shape as it relates to the various shaped interiors that Arai full coverage street helmets come in. The three Arai full coverage street line helmets that address these differing shapes are the Profile Series, Arai's traditional fit, accommodating what we refer to as long oval in its interior shaping. 
It has a distinctly narrow side-to-side measurement combined with a very long front-to-back measurement. The quantum series is distinctly round oval. The vector, recently introduced, has a round shell and consequently accepts the same face shield as the quantum, but has considerably more forehead length in it. It is for the consumer that is too wide to fit in the narrower shell that we associate with the profile, but has more length than we commonly associate with the short interior measurement of the quantum. It bridges the gap between the profile and the quantum. Now, it might be more difficult for some fitters to determine the shape of a consumer's head than for others. If so, in a good retail situation, after establishing the correct measured size of the consumer's head, you should take the time to have them try on each of the three differently shaped model interiors within that size range. This would give your customers the final check on which of the shapes suits them best. Too many people buy their helmet to fit their face. I'm fond of reminding consumers that there is no brain in your face. First and foremost, it is about protecting the brain what I like to refer to as your personal computer. The next thing we address is the smile. Some consumers who you can identify as having a particularly broad facial structure will often identify themselves immediately to you as wearing a helmet which is quite a bit larger than their measured size. This is a prime example of a consumer who over the years has been forced to buy the helmet to fit their face and not their head. Once the head size and shape has been established, if there is a problem in the fit around the facial areas, we suggest that you completely remove the cheek pads and fit alternate cheek pad thicknesses until the comfort level needed is achieved. You may choose in the case of a particularly broad facial structure consumer to remove the cheek pad set completely to get their head into the interior of the helmet to prove the circumference is correct. And then address facial fit by adjusting the thickness of the cheek pads. Obviously, as a retailer, having a selection of cheek pad thicknesses to fit the varying models is going to be essential to that process just like carrying a good selection of clear and tinted face shields. Finally, after making sure that the chin strap is securely fastened, have the customer reach over from the front of the helmet to grab the back edge of the shell and try to pull the helmet forward so as to roll it off his head. If it comes off in this way, the helmet is too big. If you have any doubt in your customer's ability to perform this test, here's how you should perform it for them. It's all about giving the consumer confidence that you know what you're talking about and what you're doing. And guessing at their size as it relates to the sale of a premium quality helmet is not the way to start the process. Always use an accurate measuring device. It is very straightforward. Measuring around the top of the head to establish a circumference measurement, visualizing the shape of the consumer to establish which model will likely fit them best, and lastly establishing facial measurement so you can change the cheek pads of the interior of the helmet to implement the last component of a proper fit. Beyond the three primary models that dominate our sales success in the marketplace, the Quantum Series, the Profile Series, and the new Vector, there's also our flagship RX-7 series, which is a distinctly round shell that accepts the same face shields as the rest of the full coverage models, but has a unique construction process that is designed to make the helmet lighter in theory, but we do it as an offsetting value because we add some additional features in the RX-7. The diffuser ventilation mechanism, most notably, and the fully removable machine washable comfort liner. Its approach to round oval fit, however, is what I like to refer to as relaxed. It is a bit roomier than the pure roundness that we associate with the Quantum Series. In the case of the Motocross product, our traditional one-piece VX Pro Series, as well as our three-quarter open face line, the Classic and SZ Series, do not share multiple fit packages. These are built on a single fit package that runs in the middle of the shape range. We've had very little problem fitting consumers choosing these products within the single fit package. Arai Helmets will be bringing to dealers a new level of sales promotion and support. In return, that brings with it the responsibility that you provide your customers with the most professional fitting service. Arai is widely considered to be the world's best helmet. Let's make sure the customer gets the best service possible in the fitting of their helmet to provide them with a satisfying purchasing experience.